Hi there. Now for the start of this question then, we were asked to draw a Venn diagram to represent all this information here. Now if you want to see the final Venn diagram, do fast forward right to the end because I'm going to just take it slowly as I explain the steps to you. So first of all, you're going to need to draw what we call a universal set. I've drawn a rectangle which is going to represent all 80 students in year 12. I've labelled it U, okay, but uh, you could use some other letter, it's up to you. And then I want to create three overlapping sets. I've called them B, C and P. B for biology, C for chemistry and P for physics. And now we've got to fill in the values that we've got in this table in the various regions. And when you get questions like this, generally it's best to start at the end. Normally at the end you've got information which directs you just to one region. If you started up here, 20 students doing biology for instance, that 20 is scattered amongst these four regions, here, here, here and here. And we don't know how that is split up. But if you go to the end here, where we've got three students study all three subjects, okay, then that must go in the middle here, where all three sections overlap. And then working backwards, five students study both physics and biology. Now, physics and biology is this overlap here containing these two regions. Don't put five in here, okay? It's across these two. So three plus another two would give us five, okay? This two, remember, refers to two students doing biology and physics, but not chemistry, okay? But yet we still have five people doing biology and physics. And we've now got the 11 students studying both chemistry and physics. So we've got 11 students scattered across these two regions. So that means that that must be 8 in there, so that 8 and 3 make 11. Similarly, when we've got 7 students study both biology and chemistry, we've got these two regions for biology and chemistry. And so that has to be a 4 there, so that 4 plus 3 makes 7. Now we can come back to 30 students study physics. That's the 2, the 3, the 8 and this region in here. So what we've got then is a total of 5 here. 2 and 3 is 5 and the 8 is 13. And so 13 away from 30 just leaves us with 17. If we go back again we've got here 28 that study chemistry. So all of these four regions must total 28. So that leaves us with 13 in there. You can check that out. That comes to 28. And finally, 20 students study biology. So if you add up the 4, 3 and 2 and take that away from 20, you find you're left with 11. Be careful though, because we also might have some students out here in this region here, students that do not do any of these subjects. So do add up all of these values that you see in the regions, okay? If you do that, you should find you get a total of 58, okay? 58 in here. So there's 80 students in total, so 80 take away 58 leaves you with 22. OK, so do check that one out and there's your completed Venn diagram. OK.